mother is here with me. The children of the mother, my salutation to all. The question has come. The mother has repeatedly insisted us to live only for the divine. What is the meaning of it? And how can we live practically for the divine? Live only for the divine. That means we have nothing personal agenda. Only one agenda that is what she wants us to do. What she wants us to think. What she wants us to feel. That's what we want. In Puranas, we have so many examples. Take the example of Pranalad. His breathing was Lord Vishnu's name. His father wanted his name to be replaced Hiranyakashyapa. The Vishnu name should be replaced with Hiranyakashyapa. So that he will rule three lokas. Three lokas. But he was not convinced. His mother told Prahlad, that why don't you listen to your father? Simply you have to do one thing, that is to leave the word Vishnu and utter your father's name, that's all. You can do that. He said, Lord Vishnu's name is my breathing. If I stop my breathing, what is the meaning of ruling three Lokas, will the dead body will rule three Lokas? Without Vishnu name, I cannot live. The question of ruling does not arise. So it is not at all possible for me. Can you stop your breathing for anything? Suppose a person will come and offer you some crores of rupees, only one condition that stop your breathing. How many will agree? Okay, I will stop my breathing and I will take so much of money. How many? Because you will not exist. What you will do with your money? That is called exclusively living for the divine. Another example you can take. Dhruva. He wanted to meet Vishnu. So done sadhana for it. Intense sadhana. Lord Vishnu wanted to know actually what is his, his intensity. So he told Narada that go and see how intense is his sadhana. Then Narada came and told him that your father and mother are searching you and crying for you. You are here, what you are doing here? What would have happened to us? But what he said, that how could you know? that my father is crying, my mother is crying for me, they are searching for me, Abu Dhabi. He said, not only I know, I can show you the video show. My hand, at that time, also they, <laughs> they were able to uh, use the videos. But, it was not available for common people. So, Prahlada said, that means you are not a common man. It is true. If you can show 
my parents studio that means you are not common man it is not available to us all nowadays we are we can so everybody can use it but at that time only the special people can use it so you are not a common man who are you telling me and he said you have to say and narada then you can take me to lord vishnu why to parents you see his preoccupation is only vishnu so when he said i am narada then he said you can very well take to me to lord vishnu he said i cannot take you i can go but i cannot take you because with living body nobody can meet vishnu after death on the this person he could have frustrated but he said okay i cannot go to him but can he not come to me his concentration was all is only vishnu nothing else he said yes he can come wherever he wants he can come but for that intense sadhana is required then prarada said i was going why you are disturbing that is what i am doing why you are disturbing then narada saluted him saying that you will definitely meet lord vishnu after few minutes vishnu appeared we are doing so many pujas but no but never we meet any divine things why because that intensity is not there we say nowadays kali yuga is always not happened that is wrong thing now it is very easy easier than previous yugas if you have intense need for the divine he will be very much available in front of you so that is the case exclusively how to live for the divine you can also take the example of kali yuga saint his name is bhakta tukaram not very far he is in the he was in the age of uh, uh, shivaji was ruling at that time he was there he used to write beautiful poems on god and so simple it was that the cultivators were so much happy to sing the songs and happily they could produce 100 times more than what he used to produce agriculture products the message went to uh shivaji samrat shivaji he said that he is eligible for some commission for him if 100 times production is increased productivity is increased then He is eligible for some percentage out of it. Let us give him one percent of total production. Imagine how much whole country. One percent of whole production. Imagine how much. He ordered his prime minister take one percent of food grains to him, along with my gift. I am also very happy. Some jewels, jewelries, and everything. The prime minister went to his home. after the current song he said i cannot take imagine so much he 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 was in poverty but a gift is coming from shivaji but he said that i cannot take he said how i have to take permission from my lord he has not given it the sanction so i cannot touch then prime minister said if you will not take shivaji will be unhappy then bhakt karan said if i will take my lord will be unhappy <laughs> you see how they are living for only for the divine nothing else <coughs> then they said i had this in the world but i could see a great man in front of me in front of me 
spontaneously will live for the divine. They will, they will not make an effort for that. They will live their spontaneous capacity. And out of Gnostic society, supermental being will descend. So how important it is for us, not only to live for the divine individually, but with commune. And Auroville will be the inspiring common for the whole world. But Auroville has to grow towards that direction. And Mother was asked whether Auroville is growing in that direction. Mother said, yes, very much, not outwardly. Inwardly it is growing. Outwardly you cannot see its growth because everything is growing from within. When you will clean the floor, the dust will go up. You will think, why to clean that? But that dust is going up because it will go out. Now the dust is coming up. We are worried that what is happening in our way. Cleaning process is going on. If you have an inner eye, you can see actually Aravil is growing towards the great role to change the whole world and Auroville will stop the World War III Mother has said, it has such power So, living for the Divine not only individually like Prahalada or Deva collectively you have to live collectively you have to live means everybody has his own way of living, but it is to be, this is to be harmonized with the greater collective role of that community. What my role? Individual role is okay, but it has to be harmonized with the collective role. So, it is really a challenging work, but mother will do it if we surrender to the mother. Every time you have to surrender, not only for your life, but for collective commune. That let this commune should grow according to your will. Where I should play my role perfectly as far as possible. Without playing my role perfectly, I have no right to blame others. This way, collectively we can live for the divine exclusively live for the divine this is the high time for us because there is no other way all other ways are totally closed previously I was telling you previously there were three roads towards the divine one is truth another is falsehood and in between is mischief you, you would have asked oh, falsehood how it is leading to the divine yes because by doing blunders, we learn. Anything wrong we will do, then only we learn. So that is also required for us. Through Ravana only, we recognize Rama. Through Kansa only, we recognize Krishna. Otherwise, Ramayana would not have been so much interesting. Can you imagine Ramayana without Ravana? So in that way, these all three roads were there. But Mother said, it is squeezing. The in-between road, that is mixture of truth and falsehood, that is squeezing. You have only two alternatives, either live for the truth or falsehood and go to Adish. Truth means surviving in the new race, that is Satya Yuga, supramental Satya Yuga, physically will manifest our health. Never physically it was manifested. Satya Yuga upon earth, Mother was asked, Mother said in Sukma Yoga, so subtle world, Satya Yuga possible, not on the physical world. First time there will be Satya Yuga, age of the truth, upon earth physically. And only those people who will exclusively live for the divine and truth will find the place in the Satya Yuga. Rest will disappear. Humanity will be divided into three categories. 
those who are open to the supramental force they will become the supramental being those who are unable to open to our supramental force but yet they are not critical animal simplicity they have they will survive as human beings rest will decide this is what mother said so it is option for us that is the mother says truth or wish that time has come so we have to choose whether we want to be member of the new world or the sad world exclusively living for the divine is the only option there is no other option and people of our will have the privilege to live for the exclusive for the divine but how far they take this opportunity that also, that the freedom is also given to them only mother is given that freedom is given whether they will accept it or not along with the consequence second question is the mother said everyone must learn to collaborate what is true meaning of collaboration and the means to achieve it you can take an example of suppose there are 10 persons eight persons or eight eight musicians and two singers they decided to form a orchestra band okay now they perform their performance try to collaborate each other but externally only because everybody they want that they should be exposed what they can do they are not worried about the songs performance they are worried how i will be identified with, through the public public will recognize me not about the what they have done that orchestra the collective effort to produce a beautiful song that is that is not their objective so that they want to establish themselves that will not last long slowly they will recognize through so many difficulties that performance of song is important for that whatever little role i have i have to play with you if i have a role i have to play if i have no role i have to wait so to that extent only i will exhibit my own performance suppose the flute is there if flute will want that throughout the song i will be there how the song will be but wherever it is it is needed to be there if there flute is there then it will be beautiful so everything has its own place that they will recognize through many difficulties many challenges they will recognize that we have a role unique role and if that also to some extent five minutes or two minutes or so rest they have to play other other the players there they will play so totally things will be harmonized as a single whole which will become a beautiful play similarly here mother has a project or a will project it has a aim we all have come here for that but initially we are not concerned what will happen let, let it happen everybody must recognize me hum kisi se kam hai i have to show that i am not zero so everybody will try that they exist as long as they will try that they exist thing will not be better that is a compromise that is not collaboration 
um, collaboration will come when the oral aim and objective is important for everyone. For that, if I need to be sacrificed, that I am ready. There also I feel anathema of sacrificing for the great cause. So collaboration, Mother says, when everybody reaches to the peak of the divine consciousness, then only true collaboration will come. We are struggling in the lower consciousness to establish collaboration through so many meetings and everything. It will never happen. Immediately it will have some solutions, but again there will be another problem, it will continue forever. Because in the lower consciousness, collaboration is not possible, compromise is only possible. Everybody has to go up, where everybody meets. Then I will recognize your role, you will recognize my role, she will recognize his role. Everybody will know that everybody has had their unique role and there is a beauty of collaboration. That is only possible in the divine consciousness. So mother says that never try to solve the problem at where you are. Then the problem will never be solved. You will come with some decisions, but that's, that decision will not work out. Because as long as ego is there, it will never collaborate. Ego has to be solved. That is possible when you have reached to your peak. Every individual has to reach to their peak. For that mother has given beautiful solution. Suppose there is a meeting. Don't try to give your opinion. Always bring down the mother's presence over there. Those who are present there, everybody should bring down the mother's presence there so that mother's presence will give decision to everybody. Suppose I will say after that feeling that how could we be if this would be the solution? Everybody will feel the same thing because mother has worked out her work through everybody. Everybody will say, hey, beautiful, this is what I was also feeling. So the people present in the meeting are not the specialists, are the perfect instrument of the mother. Surrender. They surrender to the mother completely so that mother will use them to solve that particular issue. When Ravindra Ji, he was very beautiful instrument of the mother. She, he was able to call mother's presence. So once a dispute happened in a particular department, mother said go there. But at that time, he probably forgot. He said, oh, I will have to solve. That department had said, who are you to solve? We know our problem, you know your problem, mother knows everything. Please go on. Then, Ravindriji told mother, that mother, you have sent me, but they are not listening to me. Mother said, I have not sent you to solve the problem. You have the special capacity to bring down my presence over there. That is why I have sent it. So the only solution for all of them is to bring down the presence that should work out in everybody. That will bring out the true solution. That is the real collaboration. As long as you will say, I think this is this should be another person will say no. I think this should be. You will reach nowhere. Ultimately, those who are very much influential, they will insist that this must be done and that will be done. But after that, that will create another problem. So true solution is to rise rise up your peak of consciousness. Everybody and feel the mother's presence. Then the true solution will fall, will descend from ego.
Another question is, the mother said, to live in Auroville, one must be a willing servitor of the Divine Consciousness. Could you please elaborate, elaborately explain how one will become the willing servitor of the Divine Consciousness and how one can, how one will know he is or he is not. Mother has said, a special Divine Consciousness is working in Auroville so that matter will reveal Mother's Divine Consciousness that is the work is done, is being done in our view. The divine consciousness is potentially in the matter that will come out. And whole matter will become conscious of the divine consciousness. That is the project going on here. Those who are working there, their work should be to identify with that consciousness, divine consciousness. And Mother was asked, what is that divine consciousness? How can we know there is no concrete form of divine consciousness? Mother said, Matru Mandir is the divine consciousness. Symbolic representation of the divine consciousness. So, pointing to the Matru Mandir, feeling it's that, that, that is the divine consciousness around, symbolically, you have to work. To reveal the divine consciousness that is hidden in the matter, to bring out in your day-to-day -day activities. Whatever you are doing material work in our world, don't try to do mechanically. Try to bring out the divine consciousness that is within that world to come forward. That is the living, that is willing, uh, uh, living in the other world, one must be willing servitor of the divine consciousness. In that way, one will serve the divine consciousness. That is very dynamically working in our world. Divine consciousness that is very dynamically working in our world. So those who are here, they can willingly collaborate with that divine consciousness. How? Whatever work they are doing, there the divine consciousness is hidden in everyone. They have to identify with that consciousness and bring it forward. How, how one will know that one is on, on the right path? Mother says, don't worry about right path. Do with right attitude. That is very important, Mother says. Don't worry about right path. Do with right attitude. Right attitude means, for example, the work is given. Are you working for the divine? Are, are you working for money? If you are working for money, that is wrong attitude. If you are working for the mother, that is right attitude. Everywhere you have to see whether I have the right attitude or not. Suppose you are talking with a person. Are you talking with that person? Or the mother within that person? Very important. While you are talking with the person, you are not talking with his ego but with his true being, that is right attitude. So everywhere, you have to see the mother's presence and establish link with him. Mother, that is why I said, that if you are talking with him, don't talk directly. Place me in between. Through me, you talk. My transparent body will be there through me. Mother, I have to talk to you. What will happen? His impurity will be filtered. Whatever is necessary for my growth will come. My impurity will be filtered. And whatever is necessary for his growth will go to him. In this way, if you do every work, that is called right attitude. And Mother says, Without your knowing, you will be in the right path. Without your knowing. You don't know where you are going. But after so many years, 
right attitude slowly what will it develop it will develop right consciousness right attitude will develop right consciousness after some years right consciousness means you will know whether you are in the right path or not but that is far distant achievement before that right attitude is very important if you do things in right attitude know that believe that you are in the right path without knowing you are in the right path after when you achieve the right consciousness you will see back you will see the oh miraculously i was in the right path so mother says always do whatever is given to you with right attitude don't worry whether you are in the right path or not what is the base of the human unity how can as an individual as a group will move towards the aim with which with the mother has set in front of us how can we dream for the human unity when we are not uh, in, uh, we, we are not unified you we are not united within ourselves we are not united that is right but within us there is something which is united that is already with everybody you have to identify with that part which is unified which is not unified you don't identify with that part which is already unified everybody has that unified force within to so try to discover that part and try to identify with that part then you will find the best to unify with others with whole world mother has given four steps i think first is following the divine will how one will know what is the divine will mother says simply don't uh, just simply you free from your ambitions and uh, differences first point and if you are sincere you will know what mother wants to say from within that is the way how to recognize the divine will as long as you have your own preferences own ambitions probably you will think that that ambition is divine will that preference is divine will so you don't give any importance to your personal ambitions and preferences and aspire deeply to know what is the divine will and you will get that indication that is the first step towards human unity second step realize the consciousness of the one capital one who are having different consciousness mental consciousness vital consciousness all they are not actually divided only one consciousness that is variously acting in mind in the thought form it is acting we are calling calling it mind mental consciousness in vital it is acting through feelings in physical it is acting through habits so this only one is there one consciousness is there it is manifesting in different way that you have to know there are not so many consciousness there are, there is only one consciousness that we have to realize that is the then only you will be part of the human, uh, work of that is going on for the human unity we can become the part of it we must realize that one consciousness had is feeling all things as one spiritual substance scientists say that all everything is neutron proton electron that's all you don't stop there you have to go to the point where you will find spiritual substance is one not only materially we are one spiritually also we, we will go into the deep of everything we have the common substance that is spiritual substance. then only you can work for the human unity if you stop somewhere in between you cannot work for the human unity you have to go into the deep depth of everything you reach a point where all are made up with same substance that spiritual substance then only you can work for the human unity then 
Another point is feeling children, a feeling as children of the of one mother. If I will ask you your mother name, please, you will tell one thing. She will tell one. That they are only physical like mothers. They are. I am the child of the divine mother. You are also child of the divine mother. All are the children of the same mother. That has to be established in our consciousness. Then only human unity is possible. And the last one is living in the spirit. Capital letter spirit. The transcendental spirit. Transcendental spirit otherwise has come down to us. See what we have said in the unit of that is supramental. Supramental is nothing but the transcendental spirit. And supramental is embodied in one thing that is mother. So live with the mother only mother, none other, if other through mother. This is the living in the spirit. Only mother, none other, if other through mother. That is the living with the spirit. If you fulfill these four conditions, you will be eligible to work for the human unit. So I think I have covered questions. If you have any questions, you can ask. While uh, talking about the horrible in some instance, and the mother has used the uh, claws eager to force ahead, how do you relate I think that there is a deep relationship between Purusha and Aurobindo. That is why probably that word has come in between. Because Aurobindo project and Odisha project is the same, starting from different point of view. All our people from all world are coming to our village, is it not? And Orisha will go all over the world for the same work. And the right people will are not coming here because Orisha has not gone to the whole world. When whole world will start Pachakra, study circles, they will be conscious about the Arabian. Consciously they will come here. What for we are coming? So Odisha has a great role for Aurobindo. Aurobindo has not moved outside, it should not. Odisha will do that work. Aurobindo, what it will do? It will collect people, aspiring souls from all over the world and make it an epitome of the new creation. It will become an epitome of the new creation. Aurobindo. For that, People who do not know about Aravind, people who do not know about Mother and Sri Aravind are coming. It is not wrong. But process will be delayed. They will know here and with a, while they are knowing there will be so many blunders and wonders will go on. Then they will get ready. But if that work is done beforehand through study circles organized there over in that place, which is the role of Odisha. Odisha will do that. Baba Maharaj said that Odisha will move around the world to lead the study circle activities. And that will become the raw material for the world. So in, intimately Odisha and uh, Aurobindo is connected. I have realized this in Matru Mandir while I was meditating. So many years back. So time has come now, we both should work together. I have a theoretical question. Like, uh, <coughs> we are, basically we have three, type of, three types of personality. Like one is attuned towards bhakti yoga, so other is attuned towards knowledge, third is with work. 
three yogas, but uh, she has yes. said all the way to come. One to start on a way which we are attuned to, you progress and you other oh, yogas also will come in. So uh, I could visualize uh, karma yoga and uh, knowledge yoga. Because you have to do karma actions and you have to know what is the right action, so knowledge will come. To go for knowledge, you have to act that knowledge. But how does love come in? How does bhakti come in in this situation? Because uh, a love for all human beings is fine. Love for all material, all animals is fine. But love for God, how does that come into the equation? Because, the, because there, there are three, three points, are not three points, only one point. Satchit Ananda. Ananda is love, representing Ananda is love. Chit is consciousness, that is knowledge. And Sat is existence. existence, that is work. There are not three points. There is one point, whether you reach to the Sat, you will reach to the Ananda. Well, that means love, what you have said. If you reach to the consciousness, you will reach to the Ananda. But that process is long. If you can start from yourself three points together, that is what Mother says. If you can start, whether you are capable or not, that is different thing. You start as if you don't know anything. You don't know about love. Start loving. I love human beings, but how does God's love you? You will see through human beings the God's presence. If you are unegoistic, your help is unselfish, then you will find the presence in everybody, that same God, then you will realize that to whom I am unable to love, I am loving, I have already started loving. I am loving human beings, but... Human beings do what to human beings? Not their external being. Or even their souls. Their inner potentiality, their inner possibilities. If you love, you are directly connected with the divine being. But generally what happens, we are connected with their emotions, with their external activities, with their external characters. That is the real hurdle for us. That is the hurdle. Huh, that, that, that will pass away. It will take time. But if you can voluntarily start with belief that, I don't know what love is. But let me start that also. That is that. Suppose I don't know anything about you. You don't know anything about me, but yesterday you have asked me about my story. How? Like that. Yeah, that is what that is what I'm saying. That is what I'm telling. The so inner will will come automatically if you are really wanted. If you really want to know something, that will create a vibration within you to start. There are so many devotees. Who are not at all devotees. They are very rationalist. But suddenly they turn to become a permanent devotees. So that their possibility is there always. But when and how it will happen, nobody can see. Supposing I don't believe in God, somebody doesn't believe in God, but he goes to Karma Yoga and Gyan Yoga. Then how will this You believe in God because no. without no, so without, somebody, somebody without believing of the perfection. That is why your mother said that uh, once uh, Oromil Charter of Demand was taken, you know, yeah. membership for human, you know, membership. God, divine, that's why they put divine in place of God. That is, what, that is why mother said, those who do not believe in God, they can accept it as a perfection. So for Soviet Union, mother said that don't, you don't, you don't need to believe in God. You, do you believe in perfection? Do you believe in progress? That itself is God. From their point of material point of view. So from there you are connected. Journey is, may come from here to here, divine to matter. One may start perfection of matter towards the divine. Only difference is that it is a long journey. From matter to spirit is a long journey. From spirit to matter is a short journey. That is the difference. But everybody will reach a point. Definitely. So you are, you love perfection. You love progress. Indirectly you are loving divine. Indirectly. 
So a day will come when you will have a love directly. You can visual, you can face divine being directly. Now which you don't believe. Buddha once asked mother, mother, I want to see the supreme. Mother said one day definitely you will see the supreme. One day you will definitely see the supreme. There is a divine being. You don't believe. If you don't believe, that does not mean that it does not exist. It is there. For us, it is not. But because you are lover of the perfection, lover of progress, unknowingly you are going towards him. And one day he will reveal himself in front of you. You have no other way but to accept. Said that uh, there is uh, the lesson between Mosai and Orissa has to do this work of uh, the all over the world and the right to Mika. So, if this is the right time to happen, why would you not do it? We have time. Will you come with us? <laughs> <laughs> we have time now. I am ready to go over the world. Will you help me? Will you not? I am talking about Aurobis. Yeah. Ah. Will, will, is Aurobis is ready to help us? Aurobis is an answer, sure. <laughs> <laughs> because time has come. And for, from Odisha already we have started. But it needs collaboration. That is given to Odisha people. That is given to the Odisha people. Mother has given to Odisha people saying that they are always equal to go for their. For their means towards perfection. They are really trying towards perfection. That, that word is given to the Odisha people. They are simple. They are ready to do practically mother's work. And they are always eager to go ahead. That is, that sentence is given to Odisha people. 